First reading, a reading from the first letter of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Beloved, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and touched with our hands, concerns the word of life. For the word of life was made visible. We have seen it and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us. For our fellowship is with the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. John, chapter 20, verses 1a and 2 to 8. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believe the gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young people, today, Wednesday, we are on the 27th of December 2023. We are celebrating as a church the feast of St. John the Evangelist. And today, and he is also evangelist as well as the apostle. The gospel is from John chapter 20, verses 1 to 8. That famous race between Peter and the disciple who loved Jesus most, so-called the beloved disciple. It is a race between the two people representing two elements, the components of the life of a disciple. The authority on one hand, the faith on the other hand. Faith born out of love, the beloved disciple who loved so much Jesus, who remained at the foot of the cross, who took Mary to his house until God's plans are fulfilled and he represents love and faith. He, on the other hand, Peter, the man who represents authority, authority of the community, which is needed. There should be authority to confirm certain things, ascertain certain things. Here, both of them run together, but the beloved disciples comes first and Peter comes second. Peter goes into the tomb first. He goes and he sees the things and the beloved disciple enters, sees and believes. Oh, this is a difference between authority and the one who has faith. Faith born out of love. We are called to dare to love Jesus to love and to have faith in Jesus who is born to us and who is risen from the dead. And he's the one we are called to serve with our authority 
in our love and let us be so in our own life.